Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam by finding out the support reactions. So we see here there are two supports provided. One is A, one is B here. So it is a simply supported beam and there is a uniformly varying load acting on the beam. The point of interest is how we can find the support reaction for such type of beam with such type of loading in a very simple and easy way. I am sure that you will learn how to find the support reactions in just in two steps. So I am going to find out its support reactions in a very simple and easy way with such type of loading on the beam. So how to do? Just find the area of this triangle. You see here there is a triangle going in this way. Here this is one triangle. And then there is a triangle another which is going in this way. So I'm going to consider this whole triangle. So how? So I'm going to find out the area. You can find the area of the total triangle which will be the load. So the area of the triangle will be equal to the half base into height. Now half base is here 4 meter which is the length of this multiplying with the height which is 6 meter 4 meter multiplied by 6 kilonewton per meter so meter and meter will be cancelled and here if you multiply this value we will get 12 kilonewton so it means 12 kilonewton is the total load acting on this beam which will act at the middle point here so this is now a pointed load and it will be 12 kilonewton here so in a very simple way just dividing this by 2 we will get the support reactions so half of the load will be transferred to this support ra and rb so 12 divided by 2 6 kilonewton so half of the load will be taken by ra and half of the load will be taken by rb so ra will be equal to the 6 kilonewton and also rb will be equal to the 6 kilonewton why because it is a symmetrical load you see here the load increasing 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 up to the midpoint and then again from here it increasing 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 here to the midpoint so it is a symmetrical load so this half of the load will be acting on this support and this half of the load will be resisted by this support reaction this is one method i'm also going to show you the second method in the second method it's also very easy we just take half of the triangle here, this triangle. So it will be resisted here by RE. So how to find? Just find the area of this triangle. So area of this triangle will be half base into height. In this case, half base is now 2 meter because the total length is 4 meter. So from here to here, it will be 2 meter. And from here to here, it will be 2 meter. So base is now 2 meter. Multiplying with the height, which is 6 kN, the same one. So meter will be cancelled we got here if you multiply we got 6 kN so you see here we got again 6 kN here in the similar way take this half triangle and this load will be transferred to this support so RB will also take the same load because we have the same triangle so RB will also be half base into height and half base is 2 meter multiplying with the height which is 6 kN per meter so we will get here 6 kN so here is also 6 kN so this is the way how to find out the support reactions for such kind of beam with such kind of loading with the symmetry. It's very really simple because you just have to divide by 2 in order to get the support reactions. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.